Hi guys, welcome back to Kessie's Cuisine, where we satisfy your food cravings with easy and amazing recipes. If you're new to my channel, hello, you're welcome. And if you're old in this channel, what's up? Thank you for coming back. Today, I'm going to be taking you guys to the eastern part of Nigeria, Ibokwenu. We are going to be making Isiewu goat head sauce. All right. Now, for this, I'm going to be using, of course, some goat head pepper selection. I'm going to be using Utazi for to garnish. And of course, the goat brain is very important in this recipe. Forgive my voice, it sounds so rusty, but I've been having like crack voice, but it's okay. Anyway, for my goat head, I'm going to spice up my goat head and, al and allow it to be very tender before I proceed. So to spice up my goat head, I'm using some red onion. I'm using some spice, some maggi cubes. Now for my goat brain, you can seal your goat brain in a foil. You can use a white, um, like a nylon a cellophane i don't know the white ones but i didn't have any of um, that so i'll be using this plastic plate i will put the plastic plate inside my pot and allow everything to cook with my goat's head all right so that the goat's brain will still cook while it's there without it having liquid inside or being mixed up among the meat now my goat's brain was ready this was after about 20 minutes i took out my goat brain and my meat continued boiling because my go um, goat head was not properly soft yet so i still allowed that to continue boiling while i prepare the rest of the things i'm going to be adding my goat head to this little mortar you see here you can use a blender but mm -mm, this one is this one gives it a different flavor i don't know if it gives a different flavor but i just feel it does anyway i'm going to match my goat brain in this mortar i added some um habanero pepper because i wanted it to be hot at the end of the day like i wanted it to be spicy so i tried to debone my meat when my goat head was ready but almost the the bone was not leaving the bone was boning as in so i just decided to leave it a bag so that i would just eat everything together now this is my pot i'm going to start my sauce already you want to add in enough oil make sure your oil is good and not yeah your oil is good this at this point my pot was not on the fire but because my oil was a little bit a little bit stiff i had to put my allow my pot to be warm before i added uh, my oil so i added in my edible potash edible um potash or account please added in account and i started stirring it and as i was stirring it you can see it's already changing the color to a little bit of orange or giving it orange color i added my goat's brain and my habanero pepper and, and as you can see it's already getting thicker than it was before that's what it is for this is calabash nuts i'm adding to it it's give um to give it that native um, taste and flavor i added in my crayfish you want to add in some seasoning cubes i added in two seasoning cubes and i add i rinsed my mortar and i added in a little bit of water very tiny i will stir that all together mm -hmm. stir it properly make sure everything is tasty make sure everything is yeah nice added in some salt and i would advise you don't add too much of the account okay add it in bits um if you pour in too much trust me it's going to taste very funny so don't add in too much just add in a little bit it's still going to do what you want it to do i added in my goat's meat and i stirred that all together oh mom this food was very sweet in fact if you have not subscribed to this channel why please subscribe all right we give you premium 
premium recipe easy recipe and in fact they are so good all right so please do subscribe so this is my utazi it is frozen utazi that's why it's looking like this so i added in my onions ring my onion ring and i'll continue to stir that all together so because my goat head was already cold before i added it to my pot i am going to be putting my i'm going to stir that properly very well and i'll put it on fire for about two to three minutes this is just for my goat hair to be heated up for everything to be warm this is what it looks like when it was ready the meat was tender the juice was the juice was juicing finger licking good all right so I, I had to serve it in this mortar because this mortar is the main cocoa and then i washed it down with some very cold chilled palm wine mm, my god god in fact this was just too good to be true so if you want to try this recipe please just tell us if you try this recipe rather tell us in the comment section if you try this recipe let us know in the comment section all right guys bye i'll see you in my next video do take care bye bye